Greetings, Earth Stars. Eliane Nicole here, your astrologer and tarot reader. And now I'm going to do a video on the full moon of Cancer. And I haven't done a video in a while, but this is the first full moon of 2023. And I thought, why not come on and talk to everybody instead of write about it? And um, this is a very emotional full moon coming up this weekend. The full moon perfects January 6th at 3.07 p.m. Um, on the West Coast. So that's going to be, you know, 6.07 p.m. on the East Coast and here in America. And you can adjust to the time zone wherever you are. But this full moon is in Cancer. Cancer is the natural home of the moon. So the moon is very strong in Cancer. Full moons already bring culmination and they bring illumination. They bring light to wherever they shine in our personal charts. Um, so you would look to the house that Cancer rules in your chart to know, to see where this full moon is going to present itself in your life. But in general, this is heightened emotion. Uh, cancer is very sensitive. It's a water sign. It's a cardinal water sign. Um, and so it's an initiating principle within emotions. Cancer rules mothers. It rules the past. It rules family. It rules security and privacy. So all of these issues are going to be coming into full bloom with this moon on Friday. Um, this could be a moon that brings a lot of tears. It could bring tears of joy. It can bring tears of grief um, and remembrance. Cancer rules the memory. It rules our early childhood experiences. It rules the past, our bloodline, our heritage. All of these deeply, deeply, deeply personal issues are ruled by cancer and this full moon. So a lot will probably be coming up for um, people during this time. We might, meet, might find that we ourselves are very emotional and weepy and teary, or there may be someone else that we need to comfort, but emotions will be running high this weekend. And I'm gonna talk about some of the aspects that the moon is making right now. Um, as it comes into the full moon lunation. Um, it enters Cancer at 6.14 a.m. on the West Coast on Thursday morning. And as the moon enters Cancer and it's heading towards the full moon phase, um, you know, we have the sun in Capricorn, which is really highlighting all of these very earthly practical responsibilities that we're taking on. There's this pile up in Capricorn happening right now. So a lot of people are feeling like, you know, needing to get affairs in order, needing to get business plans in order, needing to get, you know, the nuts and bolts of all of these really, you know, taxes, insurance, all of these kinds of things are really piling up, um, scheduling and, and such. And and there's a trine to Uranus with the sun today. So it looks like that's a, that's a positive flowing energy, but it has the element of plot twist, disruption, unexpected events, but that open up things in a positive way, probably around money, scheduling, um, finances, things of that nature. And so that's happening also Thursday as the moon is entering Cancer and starting to kind of wax into this very heightened emotional state that's building. Um, at 9.50 a.m. West Coast time, the moon in Cancer is going to form a square with uh, Jupiter and Aries. So the Jupiter and Aries story is also one that's building for us. It's going to be a really big story in the first five months of the year. And Jupiter and Aries is at this starting point. So there's this really fresh new energy that's about to blast forth into 2023. It's being slightly held at the gate right now because Mercury is still retrograde in Capricorn, um, meaning that we still have to, you know, go over a bunch of stuff from last year, cross the T's, dot the I's, get all the practical matters in order. 
And then we've still got Mars retrograde and Gemini too, which is a lot of the rethinking and the rewriting and the cutting of ties and, you know, kind of redirecting of the energy that's gonna be happening. And because those are both retrograde, there's a sense that we're still being held back right now from moving forward with some of the things that we want to move forward. But as soon as these latches, these levers go up, Jupiter and Aries, this brand new fiery pioneering trailblazing new start energy is ready to burst forth into 2023. And things are going to start moving really, really fast. Once Mars goes direct January 12th, Mercury goes direct January 18th and Uranus shifts direct January 22nd. All the planets are going to be moving forward. And this Jupiter and Aries energy is really pedal to the metal energy. And so I'm saying that to say that this square that the moon, as it's almost reaching the full moon, is making to Jupiter, the planet of expansion and growth and, been, um, you know, good fortune it's requiring action um and this is about um you know it's like our our emotional state um versus like these new starts that we want to make and and there's a sense of like needing to go back over some things of the past um whether that's the past as soon as last year or the past meaning our early childhood or even past lives but there's some tension there um, that we can build with in this next phase of our life but it's still it's like it's it's emotional things are coming up um, memories are coming up and this is all happening as this moon is 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 blooming and, and, and getting us prepared. It, it's, it's illuminating things in the past to prepare us for this really powerful, fast, big new start that's on the horizon. And, um, and so what else is happening? Friday, um, early in the morning, again, as we're still heading towards this new moon, but this is all part of the energy, Venus in Aquarius, which you can look on my Instagram feed. I did a whole, um, I, I wrote a little bit about what that means. She's trining the asteroid series in Libra. So this can be a really like um, kind of erotic, um, sensual aspect. Um, and it can also be, um, you know, a very a very fertile aspect, physically or artistically, um, for creativity. Um, and so, while there are some challenging emotions that are might be coming up with this full moon, we can really channel this energy um, in really beautifully creative ways. Um, and the moon in Cancer will be forming a sextile to the, to the north node in Taurus. And so again, very fertile creative energy to, to grow things, whether that's growing babies, growing families, growing money, growing plants, growing your art. Um, yeah, there's very fertile creative soil here. And the moon is also going to make a square to Chiron. So Chiron is like the wounded healer. This is the original wound. This is some of our original pain. Again, this is like the past. This is childhood. This is parents. This is, you know, bloodline. Um, all of this kind of stuff kind of rising to the surface. You know, this really deeply personal stuff coming up. And... And it's in opposition to all of this Capricorn energy because that's what makes a moon the full moon. It's opposing the sun. So the moon's in Cancer, sensitive, family, emotional. Um, and the sun is in Capricorn, work out in the world, status, reputation, how we make our money and all of these things. And so there's a push-pull between these two dynamics. And all of this really personal Cancer stuff that's coming up 
needs to be integrated so that we can move forward successfully with all that Capricorn worldly achievement, accumulation of material success kind of stuff that, that we really want to take on in 2023. And so, yeah, this full moon this weekend is a push-pull between those energies. And Chiron, the wounded healer, is saying that, yes, action needs to be taken on healing old familial wounds, old familiar familial patterns, old childhood hurts, um, old family dynamics, um, memories that are painful for us, whatever. It, it's different for different people. I'm just kind of giving you the the arena. And, um, and so that's a big part of this full moon energy this weekend. And then the full moon, as it's waxing towards the full moon, will be sextiling Uranus, the planet of disruptions and um, kind of unexpected uh, twists, plot twists sometimes with Uranus. It can bring, but this just looks like positive disruptions are happening that are leading to emotional growth. Um, and the um, full moon finally at 3.07 p.m. on Friday is a uh, is going to be opposing Mercury in Capricorn. And Mercury is retrograde in Capricorn. And so again, this is about just getting everything in order. Um, you know, Mercury is the intellect. It's how we think, it's how we speak, it's how we write, it's how we learn. Capricorn is about all of the hard work, the commitment, the discipline, the structural things that need to go into place. Um, and uh, Mercury retrograde is, you know, just like, again, holding us back maybe from moving forward with some things because there is paperwork, there is insurance, there is business plans, there's all of these nuts and bolts Capricorn things that need to be organized and put in place before we can really move forward this year. And so a lot of that is coming up on the full moon this weekend. And um, and then the full moon on Saturday morning will, will create a trine to Neptune. And this is this is expanding the dream. This is the vision. This is all of the kind of ethereal, imaginative stuff that comes with um, pursuing our dreams. It's like, yes, the Capricorn stuff, that's the nuts and bolts, reality, material existence stuff that needs to be put into play, the, the, the drudgery, the more mundane. But that part also has to have the imagination and the kind of do nothing daydreamy part that that you know they go together basically one can't be without the other to manifest our dreams to manifest our reality and so that's kind of some of the energy that's unfolding in the sky in the cosmos this weekend and then also saturday morning um the moon will or saturday afternoon the moon will be opposing pluto and so this is, you know, very intense, deep energy. It can bring up grief. It can bring up fear. It can bring up despair. It's very transformational, deeply, profoundly transformational energy. This can be physical transformation, emotional transformation. You know, depending on where it falls in your chart, it might be financial or health kinds of transformation that's taking place. But yeah, this is a deeply transformational time as the Cancer um, full moon opposes Pluto on the way out. Um, for some people, this will bring up literally dealing with like underworld kind of figures. Um, but um, 
mostly it'll have to do with deep personal transformation that's going on for people. And that kind of sums up the energy of the full moon right as I come to my 15 minutes. Thank you for joining me. Um, hit the like button, follow me, book a reading, all of that good stuff. I may record this again. I may use this one. I don't know, but it was a good, a good effort no matter what. I did it. Thanks for joining me. Bye.